American Sniper. The blockbuster film about U.S. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle, who did four tours in the Iraq War and became the deadliest sniper in American history. It's now the highest grossing war movie ever and arguably the most controversial one. The New York Times said the film has fueled a war on the home front. But forget about everyone else's opinions. What do American vets who actually served in Iraq think about the film? I'm about to find out. My name is Chris Clark. I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps when I was 18 years old. And I was an operator at 1st Reconnaissance Battalion. I deployed to Iraq twice, the first time in 2005 and then again in 2006. My name is Emily Yates. I joined the Army when I was 19 as a public affairs specialist. I did two tours to Iraq from 05 to 06 and then 07 to 08. A lot of the criticism that this film is generating is that it did not put the Iraq war in any sort of context. It did not at all touch on the reasons why America invaded or occupied Iraq. And, and on top of that, it didn't sort of show any Iraqis or any of their side yeah. or humanize them. Right. Is that a problem in your eyes? No, it's not. Because I think that what the American public needs right now, in my opinion, but this is coming from a veteran perspective, so I'm a veteran, so I'm biased towards wanting this. But if you want to learn up on the Iraq war, there's plenty of books to read. There's plenty of movies to watch that criticize it. You can, you can watch documentary after documentary about um, um, the criticisms and the mistakes that were made throughout the war and even the reason to invade itself. The war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq are both, if not done, winding down completely. And so what we have to deal with now, today, is the thousands of men and women who served in those conflicts coming home to society that might not understand what it was like to be in those conflicts. So let me put it to another veteran then. You saw the film as well. What did you think about it? Basically what I saw was that we had invaded a country we basically got rid of all of its infrastructure and its military, created so many enemies in doing so, and then you know, sent people who really wanted to do good things for their country into this, this mess. Did that make you extra critical of the film then, that it didn't touch on any of that stuff? Why Clint Eastwood felt like he could not portray any Iraqis as human people, you know, as, um, as people who were actually defending their own homeland. I mean, I don't think that the film leads to these questions for me. Like, I no, that's why that's my critique of it is that it doesn't lead. Right, to but I don't think. But, but it should be. Why should it? Because this is Chris Kyle's story about a man who is a sniper in Iraq who came back and who struggled with the transition, and it shows that. And I think it does a great job portraying the struggle that veterans have when they return, which, in my opinion, is irrelevant of all the political questions. So I understand I, how you're yeah. tying it to all the politics, and I've studied, pol I studied politics at Stanford. I understand the, the questions you're raising, but the film, to me, is so irrelevant of that. Just like when I was on the ground in Iraq, everything I did was so irrelevant of politics. See, it didn't matter to me and it didn't matter. Is that a problem to you that this Marine is saying the politics were irrelevant to when he was on the ground or is that standard? I had two friends in the last six months killed themselves who were veterans because they couldn't reconcile what they did to what they were being asked to do and what they did to what they felt was right. And you, you, we don't have to call that political if we don't want to. We can just call it moral and ethical and because the fact is that killing is not something that anybody is hardwired to want to do. We do that out of desperation. Well, I kind of disagree with that entirely, but what, what maybe go spend things? some time in a special operations unit. I think you'll find people who have a totally different opinion on But you were trained to kill. Yeah, everyone in the military is trained to That's kill. That's what to I'm a saying, extent, though. But, but we're, but we're you're trained, not trained to kill to, because not, we're not hardwired to do it on our okay, own. That's not, why they train us. You're not trained to turn off your mind. And I mean, I was never yes, trained to turn off my mind. Yes, you are. That's what training I was never trained to not think about politics. So, but that's what. I was never not, trained. But if you're not thinking about it while you're in the mission, then that's the training that is actually. There's plenty of people who thought about it, but it was so irrelevant of protecting the man to your left or your right. But the fact that, and this is another common criticism about the war, that it didn't. It, it didn't disconnect 9-11 from the Iraq war. The movie itself? The movie did not do that. Yeah, here. of course, but it's still... But, but isn't that a disservice? Isn't that a disservice to the viewers who play devil's advocate here and to the American public who are going to watch this film and are going to come out and be like, yeah. Listen, listen, if, if the American public's relying on an American sniper to give them the political background of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, then I feel sorry for well, the American I mean, public but because that's they need to do a little more doing. research than American critic. sniper. But well, that's, a, that's a societal research. problem, then. It's not yes, an American it is sniper a and a problem. veteran problem. Just no, but I totally agree with you. If that you're it's a one authority on the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war is American sniper, then Okay, that's fine. You have a very limited and a very skewed perspective of everything. To the American kid out there who watches this film, American Sniper, and says, I want to join the military like Chris Kyle and be a sniper. I want to join the Marines like Chris Clark. What do you say to them? I want to go to war, basically. Yeah, okay. I'm but you, that's such a hard question to answer. So I would but, but it's happening, right? So that's yeah. why I ask. So, I mean, 
Listen, people want to join the military. Like, people have a desire to serve the country. They have a desire to, um, to wear the uniform and to engage in, the, in the, the military structure. I would say to any kid who wants to join the military to, to do it with eyes wide open, to know that, um, that it is a political venture because we're being used as pieces of a political um, game.